Hey guys, I want to come to you and kind of cover something that has been a bit of an issue. I've been accused of not praying, not even really caring about praying, and that I ought to open up when we come and have these video discussions, be it a live stream or something over a particular topic, that I ought to open it up in prayer. Now, I've said before that for the most part, I'll pray before I come on, and I'm actually assuming that you will have prayed also. But for some people, that, doesn't, that that's not good enough, and it made me think of something. And I've had this discussion with people many times before about their prayer life. And what I've said to them is that you're doing it all wrong. Even that would cause some folks to even want to criticize how I do this. The reason why is because your prayer life is all wrong. Here's what I mean. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, we're told in verse 16, rejoice always, verse 17, pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Now, what I want to focus on is this word here, um, ceasing. Okay, this adverb ceasing, We ought. this is how we ought to pray. It is a command for us to pray without ceasing. What does that mean? It means nonstop. There's no reason to even do a real deep dive into the word. It just means nonstop. You all know what it means to not cease. How in the world can a person continue to pray? Just pray without ceasing. Well, this is the problem where and why most people's prayer lives just aren't worth anything. If you think your prayer life, uh, let me just put it this way. Forgive me if you have a, a hard time with um, hearing this word. But if your prayer life sucks, here's the reason why. Because you have made prayer an event. It is something to do. I've got to take time out of my day, out of my life to pray. Well, no. The way it's supposed to go is you should have a continual line of prayer open. I'm constantly speaking to you, Lord. I'm constantly, if there's any sort of guiding um, of me from you, then amen. I'm, I'm open to that. I don't have to, you know what, let me stop. Let me get on my knees, put my hands together, let me close my eyes, let me bow my head, and oh, Father, I make it out to be some sort of grand event. Well, it's just my normal routine my normal course of living. This is what I do. I speak to God. I uh, regurgitate his word. I read his word. I try to get close to it. That is my normal routine. And so therefore it's not an event. Think about this guys. How many times, how many times when Jesus goes to speak to the people, do we see him stopping before he speaks, just before he stops and speaks to them, that he stops and prays? Hold on, guys, before I give you this word, Father God, no, he doesn't do that. Or how many times do we see the apostles when they began to speak with someone, do they stop and then pray and then talk to the people? No, but you know, we know, we know they had a prayer life. We know that we know that the line of communication was open, that they were the ones who were praying without ceasing. After all, this is Paul writing 1 Thessalonians. He's saying to pray without ceasing. Do we think Paul prayed without ceasing? I think it's safe to assume that Paul prayed without ceasing. And what Paul didn't do before he said this, Paul didn't pray before he said this. Hold on, let me pray first. All right, guys, now pray without ceasing. No, because Paul had a continual prayer life going on him. Prayer was not some special event for him. No, it was a normal event. You all hear what I'm saying? The reason why your prayer life might not be what you think it ought to be, the reason why you don't feel like you're getting anywhere with your prayer it might be because prayer is something that you do rather than how you live. It's an event rather than the norm. It's a it's something special. And if it's special, well, then that might be your problem. Look no further than that. But if it's something that you normally do, I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're in the kitchen uh, at the stove, if you're on the microwave, you talking to God. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the Lord how I feel. He already knows how I feel. I'm telling him what I think. He already knows what I think. Uh, Lord, I just love you. So the point I want to leave you with is this. If you don't hear anything else off of any other videos, hear this. Make prayer a normal thing rather than a special thing. Make it a part of your daily living versus an event, and then see how far God takes you. Amen.